Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. Today we got a really exciting video for you guys. Not only are you going to be answering the question, what hardware do you need to get into Mr. because I get asked it a lot, but outside of the actual FPGA board itself, I'm giving away an entire Mr. setup on this video. And this is because a company out of China, Bitfunks, offered for me to review all of their boards without any preconditions. I can say whatever I want about them, and that's the only way I'd ever review somebody else's product. Additionally, just so you are aware I receive absolutely no money for doing this and I'm giving everything away because I don't need it and I think you guys would enjoy it but I do want to be very clear that these products were provided to me from this company Bitfunks but the nice thing is and you'll notice I don't do many reviews is they were willing to let me review absolutely everything without any review notes I don't have to show them this video before it launches or anything else and of course I did check into the company's reputation because I'm not going to recommend anybody if I don't trust that they're going to deliver the product I went through numerous pages of reviews. I contacted other collectors I know that have purchased from this company before, and I can rest assured say that they are reputable. And they sell everything you're gonna need for a Mr. Setup. And the nicest part is they have a really nice metal case that is in stock because getting a Mr. Case can be quite difficult. There's a lot of different companies that make them and stock can come and go, but it seems like Bitfunks always has them. And the best part that I do like about them is that they have comprehensive notes on their website. They sell a ton of different things and I'll be reviewing a couple of their other products moving on that won't be Mr. Related. But they wanted to send this in for review so I could talk about the quality of their product and I get to give it away to you guys. So honestly, it's a win-win. This is the first time I've done a sponsored video on the channel. Might not be the last, but I want to be very clear about my criteria. But first off, the thing that I can't recommend enough is the I.O. board. This is basically the top hat for the FPGA DE10 Nano board. It gives you all the physical buttons that you're going to need that you're not going to want to deal with with a keyboard or a controller. And I prefer the analog video out, so I picked this model for the giveaway. You can get the digital I.O. board, but I like this one slightly better for the analog video. And you can see that some of this board is hand soldered as well. There's a little bit of flex residue, but all the solder joints are good. I checked them. There's no cold or cracked joints. So as far as the quality of construction is concerned, I have no issues with it. It's as good as the other boards that I have purchased. But putting this together is super simple. You're going to see that there's just a pin connector on one side of it, and that snaps right into the FPGA DE10 Nano board. If you've ever put Legos together, you will be able to put this board together. You just connect those two male and female sockets together and you're 100% ready to use the top IO board. There are no pins on the other side you can connect to, so honestly, there's no way to get this wrong. And I consider the analog IO board essential for Mr. And it's gonna come with a fan as well, which is nice. And you'll see here, just to connect that, these connectors are keyed. You can't put them in the wrong way around. Just be slightly careful when you do connect. You wanna make sure that the pin male and female ends are lined up so when you put pressure on it you're not bending a pin just use your fingernail to pop it right in line up the holes and you'll see that there are grounding pads there and if you turn it around you can see where you're going to be putting the screws through it's an easy process but I know some people aren't as comfortable building electronics even if it is just screw based so I wanted to show you guys how that worked and you'll see that the kit does come with four screws and four washers you just drop them in this is probably the hardest part of assembling a mister in my opinion and the only reason is that you need to get this turned over on its back with those four screws from falling out. Honestly, you can pop them back in. It's really just a gravity and patience exercise and I was able to do it on camera. But honestly, I would say this is the hardest part of assembling a mister and that means it's gonna be pretty easy. Just make sure that when you do put the washers on and we tighten them down, you wanna do it in a crisscross pattern and don't put too much pressure. You don't wanna create any flex on the PCB. You don't want it too loose, but you don't want this too tight either. So just don't go Hulk strength when you're screwing them down. Use your fingers just to engage those nuts so that you know when you turn it over, they won't fall off onto the table or wherever you're building. And then just use a screwdriver and ever so lightly tighten them down in a cross pattern. Just go make it look like an X. Don't go clockwise or counterclockwise. It gives you uneven tension. But honestly, if this is the hardest part about putting a mister together, anybody can do it. I know it seems daunting and it seems complex, but honestly, it's quite easy. What I really like about the fan that came with this model is the leads, both ground and five volt, are the right length because on my setup I would say and it's not a big deal there's a little bit too much extra cable that was zip tied at the end it is the most minor of things but I like that when they built this kit they thought of that 
Now the second thing that I'm going to say is fully essential is the 128 megabyte RAM expansion module. And you'll see it says this side faces outward, and this is even easier to plug in than the IO board because you don't need to worry about any standoffs. Literally just push the RAM down onto the FPGA DE10 nano board and you are good to go. Just make sure you listen to this side faces outwards. If you turn it around the wrong way, you're going to have problems. And that's why all the makers print this side faces outwards. That way you can't make any mistakes. But this is Alliance RAM. It's a good company. And I have seen instances where people report cold solder joints on the RAM. I checked all the solder joints on this and I didn't find any. But one thing you're definitely going to want to use if you're playing more than one player games is you're going to need an analog I.O. board. Now there's different variants of this. The one I'm giving away here and showing uses USB as the power. The one I have on my mister uses a barrel jack. They accomplish the same thing. They pass data through the same way. They're just ever so slightly different. And you will see that the USBs are marked power one and power two. Those are what you're gonna be putting the five volt in and I'll explain that in a moment. The rest of your seven USBs are all for controller inputs. You can use whichever one you want and you'll see that we have that small micro USB there and that's what's gonna move the USB signal from the IO board to the mister. On my revision, it uses pin headers that are soldered in. On this revision, it uses that micro USB port. It's just a different connector to do the exact same thing. And you could modify this and solder those pin headers in and create your own bridge device if you wanted. But honestly, it's just a different way to skin a cat pen or a cat for that matter. But you'll see here, mine has two barrel jacks, one for powering the FPGA board and one for powering the USB hub. And it doesn't have that power USB soldered in. This one does. So all you do is plug in the power adapter, which will be in the giveaway in a different manner. Put one end of the barrel jack into the mister when you purchase that FPGA board to assemble your kit. Plug the other end of the USB into the IO expansion board, and then you just have your barrel jack going right to the wall, and it's going to look something like this. Oh, and if you're wondering how to enter, I've been keeping this a little bit quiet because I wanted people to watch the video. Leave a slogan for mister down below. You know how EA says it's in the game? Write your own slogan for mister. That's how you enter. I will comment on each entry. But you'll see here, we're gonna take a look at the aluminum case as well. And I really love how this is packed because I bought a couple different cases that I'm gonna review moving forward. And some of them came in slightly bent or damaged just because the box seems slightly small and didn't have a ton of padding. But this has everything you're looking for. You have your standoffs, you have your feet, you have your button pads. You even get a screwdriver for putting it together. I'm sure you have one, but it'll be in the kit when I give it away. And you get the case and everything is wrapped extremely well. I can't say how good of a job they did packing this because it came all the way from mainland China and everything was perfect. So big credit to Bitfunks for not packing like garbage. But you'll see here the case is quite simple. It is just four pieces. You have your base plate and side panels. You have your top mister plate and you have these two side panels with all the cutouts for all the different devices you're going to need to plug in. Your secondary SD card, sync on green, your primary SD, all the USB. It is a really nice case. I put it together on camera just to take a look at it without putting the screws in and I will say that it is incredibly easy. You put those four side panels on, you pop the top over there and then you would just screw it down. And of course you're going to get this unassembled because part of the fun of giving this away is you get to actually put everything together and check it out. But as far as the build quality of the case is concerned, I would give it 10 out of 10 marks. Everything lines up perfectly. And what I really appreciate is there is a manual in the box giving you instruction guidelines because a lot of other cases on the market don't come with instructions in the box. Now, I don't usually read the instructions. That's just me, but I understand some people do need to use them. So it's great to have them in the box ready for you. Now, the one other thing you need to do is you need to use this small USB bridge to connect the USB hub to the Terrasic DE10 nano board. And it does sit outside of the case. My one recommendation is if you are going to bring this to a friend's house or travel with it, disconnect this board before you throw it into a bag because while it's not delicate, you could rip it off if you really got it stuck in a bag. So that's my one recommendation about how to connect those and keep it safe. But yeah, that's everything I recommend to build your ultimate mister setup. You want that analog or digital IO board. I prefer analog for PVMs and CRTs. You're definitely going to want 128 megabytes of expansion RAM. That's going to give you the ability to play all the cores, including Neo Geo, which is one of my favorite. You're going to want that USB hub because, hey, there's four player arcade games on a mister. You're definitely going to want to play with three friends. And I can't recommend a nice case enough because this is not cheap equipment. You definitely want to protect your investment. And of course, 
get yourself a wall plug because you're going to need power. But yeah, this is everything I am giving away and it's what I recommend. If you skip to the end of the video to try to figure out how to enter, I told you in the middle, so you should go back and watch that. But big thanks to Bitfunks for sending this to me to give away and a huge shout out to him as well for giving me no preconditions on reviewing this. If there was something wrong, I would have told you guys because I'm not here to give things away that don't work. It's my reputation on the line and I will say that all of these products are made to the same standard as the products that I have on my own mister. But if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Love chatting with you guys. I will be back next Thursday with another mister video. I wish I could have given you the Jurassic DE10 Nano board as well, but our channel doesn't do that much in revenue for me to spend $200. So you got to put that one in, but I still think it's a pretty sweet giveaway. Do me a huge favor. Go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell helps us out. And I hope whoever wins this enjoys the mister. Oh, and it is open to anywhere in the world. You have to pay duties if you have them, but otherwise just enter the contest and if let you know who wins next thursday at the beginning of the video see you guys next time bye bye